Here are three things you need to know about multivitamin, multimineral supplements, especially gummies. I'm Dr. Todd Cooperman of Consumer Lab, and we just tested all of these multivitamins, 30% of which failed our tests because they either contain much more or much less than the listed ingredient. First, most gummies don't have iron. Iron is especially important for teenage girls and young women, especially during pregnancy, yet many gummies don't have iron. Second, most gummies have much more folate than you expect. Most people, including doctors, don't know that in 2022, the USP allowed manufacturers to put in up to two and a half times as much folate as listed on their labels in gummies. This can put a supplement close to the upper tolerable intake level, which is much more than you need. We found that actually some of these gummies had close to twice as much folate as they claimed. Third, some magnesium is good, but too much is bad. More than 350 milligrams of magnesium in a supplement can cause nausea. Few people need to get that much magnesium from a supplement because you can get it from food. Yet some multis exceed that limit, including one of the prenatal vitamins that we reviewed. If you think you might need a multi, there are two things you should do. First, use the free tool at consumerlab.com RDAs, which will show you how much you need based on your age and gender and how much is too much. This will help you know what to look for when you're looking at the label on a multi. Second, if you are one of more than 90,000 Consumer Lab members who support our research, you can go online right now and see our full multivitamin report, which will also show you our top picks for men, women, seniors, kids, prenatals during pregnancy, and even supplements for dogs and cats.